Even if you already love McDonald's hash browns, you have to ask yourself, how well do you really know them? And how well could you annoy friends by reciting unsolicited facts about this legendary foodstuff? Need some new material? Get ready for the truth about McDonald's famous hash browns. In 1969, McDonald's had barely begun to realize its full potential. That's because in the late 60s, cheap burgers and milkshakes were the company's major claim to fame. Here you are. What's this? Your food. No, no, no. I just ordered. And now it's here. But that all began to change in 1970, when franchisee Jim Delegati first received permission from the top brass at corporate to begin selling donuts and sweet rolls during breakfast hours. The idea was enough to get execs at the Golden Arches interested in the viability of a breakfast menu, and they began testing the Egg McMuffin in 1971. Fast forward to 1977, and McDonald's rolled out a full breakfast menu that included the well-received Egg McMuffin, along with hotcakes, English muffins, sausage, Danish, and yes, the now infamous hash browns. Sure are cute little rascals, aren't they? Within 10 years, McDonald's would go on to achieve a statistical milestone, serving one out of every four breakfasts eaten outside of the home. The rest is fast food breakfast history. Newsflash, eating a McDonald's hash brown while operating a motor vehicle could land you in court. Yeah, seriously. In 2018, Connecticut motorist Jason Stiber was pulled over for talking on a cell phone while operating a motor vehicle, landing him a $300 ticket for distracted driving. But there was just one issue. Stiber maintains that he wasn't talking on a cell phone. He was happily noshing a McDonald's hash brown. I don't blame the cop for misinterpreting what he thought he saw, but the fact of the matter is there was no cell phone use, and we have the cell phone records to establish that fact." Stiber is fighting the citation in court, and it turns out he's got some evidence to back up his claims. His cell phone records allegedly show no calls placed from his cell phone around the time of the infraction. Here's a fact that really nearly broke the internet. McDonald's hash browns, like their french fries, can be ordered well done. Turns out with a simple request for well done, the venerable hash brown could be transformed from a sad, pale, and oily potato to the golden brown crunchy patty of your dreams. And of course, thanks to McDonald's all-day breakfast, perfectly crispy hash browns can even be served along your regular burger, in place of fries. Our only question is, why aren't the hash browns always cooked this way? Are you living a gluten-free lifestyle? Well, we've got some unfortunate news for you. McDonald's hash browns are not a gluten-free food. Listed right there in the ingredients is a big, all-caps warning that reads, contains wheat and milk. God, that's so sad. Though the hash browns are coated in corn flour for crunchiness, the wheat and milk addition is probably linked to the natural beef flavor that's also added to the mix. Those avoiding gluten also need to be concerned with cross-contamination in the fryer oil, since the same fryers are used for both hash browns and McDonald's french fries. Another item spiked with wheat and milk. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? McDonald's breakfast sandwiches, from the Egg White Delight to the Triple Breakfast Stack Sausage McGriddle, are as close to portable breakfast perfection as mankind has been able to achieve thus far. But what if we told you there was a way to make your breakfast sandwich even better? You deserve better than this. So this isn't so much a hack as it is living your best life. And it's as easy as breakfast pie. Simply order the McMuffin of your choice, remove the top layer of English muffin or biscuit, slip that hash brown right inside, and replace the lid. Then enjoy your new and improved breakfast sandwich, complete with new levels of crunch, greasiness, and deliciousness. You're welcome. We are in no way qualified to be dispensing anything remotely resembling medical advice, but we will say this. McDonald's hash browns aren't going to undo the 13 stoli raz and sodas you drank last night. I don't even remember going to dinner. I know. I don't think I've ever been this hungover. After the hard rock got blacked out, it was like emptiness. <laughs> But they aren't not going to help either. Contrary to what the internet may have led you to believe, greasy foods are not going to help your body soak up the alcohol. But if eating a big plate of fried stuff makes you feel a little better after a hangover, it probably has more to do with the carb load, which is easy for the body to digest. And you probably are getting some electrolytes from all the salt as well. But certainly not enough to cure a hangover. But either way, McDonald's hash browns are delicious. And if they don't exactly solve your hangover problem, they a little bit make up for regrettable life choices. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. 